Howdy, happy day liberals. You are allowed to have an opinion as long as I approve of it. Memo to all free thinkers, get on board or be tossed overboard. By those left wing commie guys, we gotta keep on pushing back, pushing back all of the time. In Canada, there's this alphabet thing going on. This prime mistake of Canada, he's incredible, right? Ah, and that's not good, incredible, that's bad, incredible. Here's the latest kind of alphabet stuff. He's working for this inclusive thing for homosexual people. He thinks they're treated badly. They're all out of the closet now, and we all have to not only tolerate them, we got to become them, I think. We have to embrace. We have to have a love fest. Wow. Here's the latest. They are LGBTQI2S people. Who does that? I, I, I mean, what? <laughs> Why don't you just be a people? You know, one of us. Why do you have to be all of these letters? Who could ever remember that? I can't. I have a hard time remembering Brian. That little blah, 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 blah. Is that in front of a name or is it behind a name? Good bloody heavens. And then you have BLM, a lot of alphabet stuff, Black Lives Matter. You know, they've been on Twitter and, and YouTube, and, and effectively they have said we're a terrorist group, more or less, right? I mean, you got to pick the wordage and move it around. But if they were white and if they were the president of the United States of America, they would have been kicked off of YouTube and Twitter long ago. But these people, they get standing ovations. Why is that? <laughs> Just saying. I, I, I mean, wow. I guess terrorists are okay if you're not white. Uh, strange stuff. In Ottawa, you have in Canada, you have the NDP, that's of course code for commie, right? They're saying if you elect us, we're going to erase all of the student debt. Joe Biden did that in the US today. We're going to get rid of the debt because we're going to forgive it. It's upwards to $4 billion, but we'll do that because we want the votes. And hey, all you people who didn't go to school and didn't take on debt, so what? You now have the debt because you all got to pay it back. Somebody has to pay it. There ain't nothing for free free stuff. I remember the first free trip I got to Hawaii 40 years ago cost me $5,000. I had free tickets from Air Canada at the time. Not so free. You get it. They ain't nothing free. All of a sudden, though, he may get a lot of votes, this guy, because students don't think. They're in school. They're learning. They're supposed to learn to think. What do you think about that? Not too hard to figure out. Then you have uh, O'Toole. He's the official opposition leader, or of the official opposition, blah, 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 in Canada. And he's kind of weird because he says this. He says, we had a vote, and it was about climate change, and the vote went against me, but those poor people are not too dumb. Not too dumb? Not too smart. Uh, he's the dumb one. And so he's changing it. And he says, I believe that the people who voted for it weren't rejecting the actual science of climate change, but rather a resolution that was hard to understand. So he's just looking for ways to justify that, hey, you guys can make a decision, but it has to be what I decide. That's what he's saying. He said, no, he should cross the floor. He needs to go over to the liberal side because he acts like one all of the time. So many things that this man does, it's not good for the country, certainly is very bad for the party. It's hard to understand. Well, who's fault is it if it was hard to understand, which by the way, it was not, but if it was, whose fault is that? Maybe the leader. If you're going to ask all of your members a question, you know, kind of make the question easy to understand so people can answer it. Don't have all of this gook in there. And then you have Paul Hinman in Alberta, Canada. He's the leader of the Wild Rose Independence Party, and he's having what's been termed as a freedom rally in many different places. Good for you, Paul. Cha-cha, get it going because the province needs you. And then a writer says, hey, Paul Hinman and all of his gang, they condemn homosexuality, same-sex marriage, and abortion, and so on. That's not true. They may not be in favor of it, but they don't condemn it. I mean, that's the beauty of being a free enterprise person. I don't have to agree with what you say, but I will always fight for your right to say it. That's what separates me and Paul Hinman and so many others of his gang from the liberal thinkers, right? Jason Kenney, you got a real problem because the wild rose is coming for you. You're doing a lot of things in Alberta now that is kind of getting ready for the next election because the Wild Rose Party, the Independence Party, they're all about having a better Alberta and making it independent so they can grow and, and be free. But, but, but you're now taking some of their ideas because they're riding high in the polls. They truly are. They're going up more and more all of the time. And things haven't even started yet. The election's a year and a half away. So Kenny, get your seatbelt on. And hey, it's kind of interesting to see that you're taking some of them them good ideas, but hey, so what? The goal of independence, everyone 
has a different idea of how it can or will be done. This doesn't change the fact that people's passions and knowledge is less important, any less important than the other person's. And what happens is a lot of people start to fight and squabble. Don't. All your people in Alberta get the job done. Fight the other people. Don't fight amongst yourselves. Just saying because a lot of people call us and they're saying, you know, I criticize this, I criticize that. I understand that. I mean, we all have different views. As said, but you got to band together because a whole bunch of sticks together can't be broken. A bunch of single ones can be. Maverick Party in Canada as well in Western Canada, Mr. O'Toole continues to focus on Quebec and the well-being of Quebec. So he has forgot all about the voter base and you have the uh, Wild Rose Party in Alberta and you have the Maverick Party. will take advantage of that. And I got to tell you, many people, and I have a lot of friends who are members of Parliament in Canada, they're worried and they're angry because O'Toole is going to destroy. He's going to destroy the Conservative Party because people will vote for the Maverick Party. And, and most of the West is where it comes from. Bad grammar, but let me break that down. <laughs> most of the money, more than half of the money in the coffers comes from the West. I believe it's about 50 or even 60 percent of all the elected members of parliament come from the West. And you got this moron who's saying, I don't care about you people anymore and I'm only going after Quebec and all the liberal supporters. If I wanted to do something conservative, that would be nice. COVID, COVID, jumping, keep up. COVID, people now that have been vaccinated are treating other people that have not been vaccinated by like lepers. <laughs> I know a girl that wanted to ride a bike here recently and she was told by other cyclists, you haven't been vaccinated. You don't believe in vaccination. You can't ride with us. But yet all the other girls were vaccinated. What are you scared of? Are you saying that vaccination doesn't work? If you get it, get over it. In terms of the other people, you're supposed to now be protected. <laughs> but what about you hypocrites? People get the vaccine, they still wear masks, and, and they shun and mock everyone else who doesn't get it. The truth is, is, is that more than half of people are against the vaccine. Respect their position. I normally would close today with a COVID joke, but 99.9% .9 of all the people don't get it. Did you get that? Hey, Joe in Calgary, thanks for that little joke. Y'all come back. See ya.